Today, migration, replacement, and statistical BS. Hello again, it's Miles North from Digital Finance and Little Hits. Well, that is post covering finance and probably news. Last week in my show with Tarek Brooker, we discussed the stash about the ABS migration and arrival statistics. Recall that recent data on arrivals versus departures showed a significant uptick in potential population growth. The Australian government's official document, Fundamentals of Migration in Australia, Migration Concepts and Measurements from the Centre for Population has explicitly stated that border crossings data are more timely than other migration flow data releases, meaning that they can be used as a potential leading indicator for net overseas migration. The same document also states explicitly that border crossings, that's arrivals and departures, are an early indicator of future migration flows. <laughs> now, last week, the ABS contacted a number of media organizations, including Macro Business and the Daily Mail, claiming that it had inaccurately and misleadingly used the monthly net permanent and long term arrivals data as a quote measurement of migration. In fact, Radio 2GB was also fact-checked for using this same data. 